Okay, today uh, we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting fractions. Uh, so, enjoy! So, this will be the only slide uh, that really has a lot of text on it. <laughs> um, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, adding and subtracting fractions, they have to have the same denominator. Meaning that the bottom number of the fraction has to be the same number in order for you to add or subtract them. And that is only with adding and subtracting fractions. The other operations uh, are a little bit easier, less restrictive. But yeah, they have the same number on the bottom. Meaning if you have 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, yes, you can add or subtract them. But if it's 1 fourth and 1 third, no. Um, if fra fraction ends up bigger than 1, you end up having a proper fraction, which would be converted to a mixed number. And proper fraction, if, for example, would be like uh, 5 over 3. That's improper, because the top number is bigger than the bottom number. Easy. Mixed number, for example, would be like 1 and a half. A mixed number is just a whole number and a fraction together. Easy. Um, sometimes you have to reduce a fraction, or make it bigger, technically, uh, but not, it's still the same fraction, but make the numbers bigger or smaller to make the numbers, the bottom numbers the same. So they have common denominators, like I was saying, they have to have the same denominator in order for, them, for you to add or subtract them. So, um... That's that's pretty much it. That's that's fractions, adding and subtracting fractions in a nutshell. Um, next will be examples. So uh, have fun with that. <laughs> so we're gonna be going over these uh, for examples. Uh, they're pretty simple, uh, but they're a good way to kind of showcase uh, the rules. Um, so the first one will be same denominator. Second one is different denominators. Uh, the third one would be uh, when you get a negative solution. And the last one will be uh, adding mixed numbers. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. So the first example is uh, pretty simple. Uh, this is the same denominators, so you just add the tops, keep the bottom. Always keep the bottom number. It, it'll be the same number for the solution. Same number. So all you do is just add the tops. So uh, one fifth plus uh, two fifths will be three fifths. Just so, 1 plus 2, and keep the 5. Easy. So the se second example is uh, going to be a little bit harder, but not too hard. So, different denominators, uh, so you can't just add them. You can't just add across. Um, the, the thing you want to look out for are numbers that are, this, are in the same multiples class. Uh, multiples are... The times tables, basically. So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, blah, blah, blah. So 12 is a multiple of 4. So all you have to do is just multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. Easy. Whatever you do to the bottom number, you have to do to the top number. So you also have to multiply the numerator, the top number, also by 3. So this is 3 twelfths plus 4 thirds, uh, four, 3 fourths. So you will get, um, you multiply 3 fourths by 3, you end up getting 9 twelfths. So, 9 twelfths, 3 twelfths, same denominators, now you can add them. So you do 9 plus 3, 12. 12 over 12. If you get the same number on the top and bottom of the fraction, that is a whole number. 1. It will always be 1. So depending on your teacher or what answer you're looking for the most correct answer would be one but if your teacher wants you to keep it as a fraction it'd just be 12 for 12 easy so example three is going to be a negative solution or when you are adding or subtracting with negative numbers so depending on your math level you might end up bringing to this Others can just, just disregard this if you haven't learned negative numbers yet. But it's still the same rules with fractions and integers, same rules with negative numbers. So this is one third minus two fourths. Now, three and four don't share any common multiples. So if you can't figure out any common multiples between two denominators, all you do is just multiply 
the denominator by the other denominator. So as you can see, what I did is I multiplied one third by fours and two fourths by threes, <laughs> because all I did was just multiply by the other denominator. So what you get is you get four twelfths and six twelfths, because all I did was three times four and then four times three. So you end up getting the same number on the bottom. That will always work. If you can't figure out denominator, just multiply by the other denominator. You'll always get the same number on the bottom. It's the easiest way. Uh, then, as you can see, this is subtraction, so you just subtract. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So it's negative 2 over 12. Uh, if you want to reduce, it'd be negative 1, 6. You should always reduce, but some teachers are weird about that. So, that's it. So, this example is going to be adding mixed numbers. Uh, mixed numbers, like I said before, is just a whole number with a fraction. So, um, with mixed numbers, you will always add or subtract, depending on the operation, the whole numbers from each other, and add and subtract the fractions from each other. Um, there is a more complicated thing that happens when you're subtracting and you end up with uh, less, uh, a lesser fraction uh, on the, in the front than the back, but I'm not going to go over that example. Uh, this one is going to be pretty simple. So, different denominators, but 15 is multiple of 5. So, all I'm going to do is multiply uh, 2 fifths by 3, because 5 times 3 is 15. So, uh, 1 and 2 fifths ends up being 1 and uh, 6 fifteenths. Easy. Then, you just add. So, you end up with... Uh, 1 plus 4, which is 5, 6 plus 3, 9, and 15, like I said, 4, the number always stays the same, so the same. So in 5, 9, or 15, you can reduce that, uh, 9, 15, if you want, uh, you'll get, you know, divide by 3, so you'll get uh, 3 over 5, so it'll be 5 and 3 fifths. And that's it. So, uh, any questions? That's uh, the end of the video, the end of my slideshow. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment directly on the video, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can message me, and I will also get back to you as soon as possible. Um, I also have this whole slideshow in a uh, PowerPoint. So if you want that, uh, leave me your email, and I will send it to you. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it helped. Bye.